Hey, Timps. It's Let Me Toad It, and I'm back with my third board playthrough for Mario Party 8. King Boo's Haunted Hideaway, and today joining me, I have Boo, because it's very appropriate to have him on this board, because his king is a... so... That's his king. That's King Boo right there. You only need 10 points to bring him... You, know, you need to bring him 10 points to get a start, so... Let me finish introductions. I already got a... Uh, I invited Boo because he's he's like a ghost and it matches the haunted theme. And then I invited Luigi because we haven't seen him yet. And I invited Waluigi. And this thing right here is a like a pinball thing. And if it lands on a certain one, then Mouse will steal whatever you land on from someone. And as you can see... Luigi tried to steal a star from me, but I didn't have any stars, so lucky for me, or else I would have been very angry if that happened. So I can't go- and I'm recording this very late at night, so excuse me if my voice sounds kinda low. And we're seeing a DK space for the first time on this board on the first turn. So you land on a DK space. And there's like different rooms, like King Boo is not in every single room. He'll only be in one room and the rest of the rooms will be pitfalls. And you'll be sent back to start if you get to the pitfall rooms. But if D if you have DK come, he will be in any of the pitfall rooms. And whoever gets to him first, it's a free star. And then he'll leave the building. But if Bowser go goes up to the pitfall room, he will take someone's star. Or he'll show mercy like he does in Shy Guys Perplex Express where he uh, gives you 10 coins out of mercy if you don't have any stars. And then, about the characters again, Boo invited, I invited him because he kind of matches the haunted theme. Again, Luigi, we have not seen him, and while Luigi because, oh well, I invited Luigi another, for another reason because there's Luigi's man, Luigi's Mansion, and then Waluigi because I didn't know who, who else to really pick. I wanted to pick Dry Bones, but I want to save Dry Bones for the next board. So I put Waluigi because he's kind of the opposite of Luigi, which makes him evil, which kind of matches the haunted theme because it's like evil and haunted. So it kind of matches that. Oh boy. Oh, and that thing that Luigi just paid for. Uh, not that thing. Well, what Luigi just did was you can pay the Womp to move to another side of. Okay. Okay, so Boo just did it. So you can pay the Womp to move out of your way to go whatever room you're heading for. And he'll switch directions. He won't, like, uh. It's not where you just have to repay him and then he just, and he moves and then doesn't go back to where he was supposed to go. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. Oh boy. Another thing to discuss about, uh, I've been playing a lot of Mario Party 1 lately and I've been doing really well. I've unlocked Bowser's Magma Mountain, but I haven't unlocked Eternal Star. And I have um, bought most of the items that you can buy in the stores. So that's kind of that's kind of good that I bought some of the I bought some of the items, which are basically just like dice blocks that can be used in gameplay, but they're randomized, so you don't just get to pick them. They're randomized. So that's kind of fun. So we could be ready. So I can, it can be ready to be on the Let's Play list when it comes to that. And I've gotten, as far as I, I completed Mario Party 3 on my own time. Mario Party 2, I had to get that game, but that probably won't happen for another while because 
I feel like I've been asking too much from my parents, and I kind of want to wait. Oh boy, this... Yes! So, Mario Party 1 and 3 are ready to go, but Mario Party 2 needs to be picked up. Anyway, I haven't talked finally about the board at all. So, let me finish this uh, minigame first. Okay, come on. Okay, thank you. So King, so King Boo's board is operate. It, it's a very new board. Like, it has a whole different concept from the rest, from the rest of the boards in the first seven Mario parties. It's where the the, the board map is sort of like a puzzle, and you have to figure it out by going into some random room. And it can be really good or really bad. Like you could possibly get sent to another place on the board on the board that you don't want to be in, and it can really be terrible. Uh, oh, in this happening space right here, uh, it can tick. Okay, I don't know what Boo's trying to do. What are you doing to me? Okay, so he's gonna demonstrate what this happening space is, which involves taking me with him. Oh boy, thank you, Boo. Okay, so DK is still in the building. I should try to. I want to get to one of the rooms. I want to find him. Oh boy. A candy that. I don't know if we've seen that one. Cash Zap? I don't know. So, still sticking with 10 turn games. I pick King King Boo's board as my uh, as the third board because it's actually my third favorite because I love the whole concept idea and I love how it's set up. It's just set up very well, so very good job, good job, Nintendo with Mario Party 8. There's honestly not there's. Honestly, no boards on this game that I really hate. And what do I have to do? Set, activate the traps, and take them out. Okay, that's a blow up. So there's not, there's honestly not any, any games, or not any games, any boards in this game that I really hate. I actually like every board in this game. I play each of them, just, just because. I think all the boards are awesome. Okay. Luigi, you don't need to win this. Alright, come on, get him. Alright, kid. Okay, there we go. So I like I like every single board in this game. I play all of them like equally, but well, Shy Guys Perplex Express, I play that one most because it's my favorite. But I play all of them equally. There's not like any boards where I play like once every couple of months and then never play again. Like I played all of them. Like I remember one week I played all six of the boards in this game uh, each day. Like I completed one board, one board for a 50 turn game each day. Then 50 turns for the next boards on the on the next six on the next five days following that board. So. That's really weird. And if you want to know if I if, if I ever saw a ghost, I did. When I was about seven years old, back when we lived in like a, a different part of the neighborhood, we when we lived in a different neighborhood before the one I live in now, which was like is like now four hours away. Like it was still in the same state, but. I still live in the same state, but I'm four hours away from my my neighbor, my old neighborhood, and so my sister had a friend. Her name was Heather, and what? Okay, so like they were really good friends. I think I even met Heather once. I don't even know if I did, but what? Ha like she came over a couple of times and then my mom had this office where she where actually it, it originally wasn't her office it was just like a room where there were like extra stuff and Waluigi's getting a star which I disapprove of 
Anyway, so there was this room that had like the computer and stuff, and like ex, and like all these books. So it was like an office rec, rec and recreation room. So it was there, and for some reason, I kept hearing things in the office, like a girl voice, and it was calling out to my name every time when I was walking down the hallway during the night. And I walked in there, and I literally saw Heather my sister's friend. And here's the thing, Heather never died. I think she's still alive, but I don't know how there was a ghost of her. Either it was her or it was someone else, I don't know. I just, it was so scary. It freaked me out so much. And it, and like my older brother and my older sister and a bunch of other friends started making a joke about it, thinking I was crazy. But I really wasn't. I'm, I'm really not crazy. There was really a ghost of my sister's friend in there. And I don't think she's still friends with Heather now, now that my sister has like fallen out of contact with her, like doesn't really talk to her anymore, but she was nice. That Heather chick that I saw a ghost of, even though she wasn't dead, which is very weird. Okay. She was nice when I met her, but that whole ghost thing kind of scarred me because it made me think that think that uh, go that even a friend, a ghost that had that was like a good per that like like before they became a ghost, they were, were like good people and that they wanted to haunt me. But even though Heather wasn't dead. There was still a ghost of her, and that really scared me. So that kind of just oh, I can't really talk about it because it makes me think that she's here, which she's not, because this is a brand new house that I live in, that I have been living in for a couple of months now. So yay for that! And I really hope that I can. Oh wait, one more thing, I need to explain about this board. So, like Waluigi just did, he found King Boo first. Whoever find whoever finds King Boo first, uh, get and who has ten coins, he he will offer you a star and you obviously will want to say yes, and if once that happens the whole the whole entire map changes up and you have no idea where you're going. And then, um, sure, I'll buy this. So you don't know where you're going, and then, and if like DK or Bowser is in the building when the when the boards get shuffled, uh, they will actually leave the building, which can be very helpful. Like if you really don't want Bowser in the building, then that would be really helpful for you. And as you can see, I bought the vampire key, which is very appropriate to the board. The Vampire Candy obviously steals coins, 1 through 10. I, okay, sorry about that noise, I'm playing with my Wii remote, and it kind of putting the mic, which I should not be doing. Oh, is this one you haven't seen? Lava or leave him? I really don't know if we haven't seen this one. I think we have, and I just don't remember. Oh boy. And for half, this is the the halfway mark of the Mario Party 8 boards, but once I get all these boards out of the way, that doesn't mean this project is done, because I have to get those dual boards, and then uh, I'm going to give a bonus video for a tag team. And then what else was I going to do? Uh, I gotta do the dual boards and then I gotta do the extras and do some of the minigame event things. So this, just because the boards are over, doesn't mean the project's over. So stay tuned for the extras and other stuff to come. I don't like the fact that Waluigi has a star. He, he should uh, give me that star because he honestly doesn't deserve it. And oh boy, we're down to the last five turns. 
Okay. Okay, yeah, I really disapprove of that. Boo is in last place with... I never understand this. Whenever I play with Boo, he somehow always ends up in last place, and I don't get how. Boo, you need to step up your game, dude. You need to stop coming in last place. Even though I'm playing, which kind of makes your competition really big. You should be winning for your, for your king. Your king want, kind of wants you to win. By doing this is not <sighs> Luigi, really? Well, he's going to demonstrate what happened to you. Hi Bowser. I hope while Luigi gets into the wrong room so he can have a star stolen. Which would be hilarious because well, Luigi is kind of a cheater and he's evil. He's the evil version of Luigi, so he kind of deserves it. Uh, sure, I'll use this since I bought it. Vamp, Vampress Toadette. Okay, I like that. I want to go for 10. Let's see. Yep, nailed it. Yeah, that's not really hard to manipulate. Yeah, the roulette, the roulettes on, the roulettes on on this game are really not that hard. You just have to have the right timing. So just fall the the part, the area on the on the dark wheel that you are trying to hit, and I can guarantee you will get it right. Because it's not really that hard to to play your cards right like that. Uh, I'll go this way because it looks fun. Can it not be Bowser? Yes, I got King Boo. Okay, I went into the right room. Oh boy. And I get a star. Yay! Okay, thank you, King Boo. You are so nice. Yeah! Now I'm in first. Yes! Thank you. Yeah, I think I'm really smart because I obviously knew where to go. And then, yeah, we see this sequence where the house kind of just, well not the house, the mansion kind of just gets smashed down and then plops right back up and then the whole board shuffles over again. Okay, Waluigi, nothing eventful, thank you. Okay, what's what's next? Me oh, come on! Two versus two. Can it be a good one? Yes, I love this one. We've seen this one. I think we saw this on the first board. Uh, Grabby Gridiron, and I'm on the team with Luigi. Yay! So as you can see, Mario Party will. Not end very anytime soon. Still have a lot of stuff to cover with this. Yeah, Luigi, what was the point of jumping on my head? I'm on your team. Right, come on. Okay, I remember last time I played this on one of my boards where, uh, Luigi, you have to try to stop him. Alright, come on. Hey, boo! You're a ghost, you're not allowed to hold things. It's not possible for a ghost to be physically holding things. Okay. And nor is it logical for me to get beat by a ghost. Okay, thank you for realizing that me and Luigi are an awesome team. Okay, yeah. You people are set to hard. How are you... How are you doing so horrible? I have won, like, every single minigame. So... You have to... 
They're not really but Okay, I play with hard like almost all the time, but whenever I play with my my sister, we play she want she's not really used to hard, so we play on normal. But when I play on my own time, sometimes I play on very hard, which is the most brutal difficulty ever. Like it is so freaking hard. Like there's half half of the mini games in this game is where they will be like instant instantaneously quick at, which is very weird because because sometimes I can be quick at some of the mini games. Like there's this one I think it's called Mario Matrix, where uh. You, you just have to like click the pan the panels that glow and you just have to kind of be quick about it and get the most where if you play that with very hard computer players then you're kind of out of luck because they will be instantaneously fast and I'm using this because I want to spring to Luigi and see if that's the room with King Boo so I'm going to try this okay green Yes, I got it. Oh boy. Come on, come on, come on. Now I hope this has King Boo in it. I would be really disappointed if King Boo was not in this room. Yes, he is! Oh boy. I am just awesome. Oh boy, what's next? Oh yeah, so... Okay, I don't know what I was talking about before I even started. Before. Okay, I don't even know where my where my train of thought is, so I'm just going to start over. So Mario Party not ending anytime soon, and and Mario Party one and three are completed. Well, Mario Party 1 is still in the process of being completed. Mario Party 2, I need to pick up the copy. And then I will have all the Mario Parties up to date. Well, except for Mario Party 9 because my game cartridge uh, somehow disappeared along with the memory card. Well, not the memory card, the SD card that had all the safe stuff on it. And the worst thing is that all the same stuff on there it wasn't just from Mario Party 9, but it was from back. Like, when I got my first Wii, it was like after a couple of months it came out when my mom and I went to North Dakota and my cousin got it for me and it was sweet. And it had like an SD card and everything. And after like so many years of being, being played with and games saved on it, so that Wii, after like a couple of like three or four years it broke and we got another Wii and then somehow my second my second uh, my second uh, copy of Mario Party 8 was stuck in that black Wii along with that memory card and now that Wii with my second Mario Party 8 copy and 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 the memory card is gone we just discovered this back in uh, November, so this is a second Wii we got after we found out that the black Wii was corrupted and had stuck and everything was stuck in it. So I'm glad that this Wii is working. I'm hoping nothing gets stuck in it. So I have to uh, redo some of these games. Like I have to. We do get all my stuff back in Mario Kart Wii, Mario Super Summers, I got everything done in Mario Party 8. I gotta get a lot of stuff done, which is very annoying. Oh boy. I hope King Boo knows that uh knows that Boo is not doing well on this board with his whole three coins. Which is not really a good way for for him to be starting out. Well, not really starting out, ending with, because we're getting down to the last few turns. Okay, no thank you. None of these are what I want. Okay, 
Wait, no, I didn't want to check that. Oh, well, maybe it. Uh. Okay. I might as well. F Wait, hang on. Let me check this actual thing so I know where I'm. Oh, okay. I'll follow Luigi because I did that last time and got a second star. Maybe he will lead me right to it again, unless he gets there before me. Okay. I don't know who has the red star. I think I have the candy star and the, uh... Wait, the candy star, the minigame star, the shopping star, the running star... The happening star is going to Luigi because I remember seeing him, the, o the only person landing on those happening spaces, and then... Oh, wait, it's... Who else? I don't... Oh, Boo landed on him landed on one as well, so the green star is going to Luigi and Boo for the moment. Red star, I don't know who that's going to. Hey, go, 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 come on. Okay, thank you. I don't know how, how I managed to pull this off of the ghost. I didn't even know ghosts could drive uh, these carts. Oh boy, this board is really short. It's only been like 20, like 27 minutes so far as I'm checking the time frame. What turn is this? Okay, only two more turns. Wait, I need to check another thing. My settings. Uh, message speed is super fast. Thank you. I know I said before, I'm not. I don't want to view those because the dual minigames, some of them can take very long. And I feel like they should only be viewed if I'm being dual. So those will not be shown. Luigi got a whole 10. Oh, he got sent into the wrong room. Well, sucks to be you. I'm kinda glad he got up there before I did. Okay, Boo can't really do much, because I don't think he can reach it. No, he can't. Okay, see, so I think I know where I need to go now, since Luigi just made a discovery for me. Uh, go down. Okay, do you have anything I want? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, I find it weird that... These red booths are selling candy in a, in, a, in a huge haunted mansion. And as you can see, there's books at- No! Well, okay, that kind of sucked for me. So both of those rooms are pitfalls. So Waluigi is going the wrong way. Because he chose that path, so we're going to have to pay the wall that is guarding the other path. Once we get to him. Oh, it seems to be worse. It's a pitiful. Yay! Uh, excuse me for a minute. I'm sorry about that. I had to take a quick drink because I've been talking for almost. 30 minutes now, and so I need to keep my voice alive. And I'm trying not to speak too loud because it's like 2 o'clock in the morning right now. No, not cut from the team. Okay, tonight for the picking. We've s I think this is the only bat battle minigame we have seen. We've s yeah, I think this. Tonight for the pickings, I think. I think this is the only battle in the game we've ever seen. I hope we get to see my favorite battle in the game. Now let's see. Okay. Yeah. The only thing that scares me about this is the reflex. The reflexes, because... Once you're... 
I think I said this before, like if you're playing with the very hard computer players on this minigame, then your reflexes have to be good and always hit the 100s because their reflexes are on point. Sometimes they miss like once or twice, but I wouldn't count on them messing up. So you need to like play this minigame until you are ready for the very hard difficulties because the very hard computer, when you set them to very hard, their reflexes are just too much. And it's sort of unfair because they just get it within one second and you have to take like a second or two even though it does, the thing doesn't show up for that long. Okay, hopefully I know where I'm going. Okay, F... Okay, Boo's going the wrong way. Wait, this is the last turn. Okay, I don't think I can really do anything with my thrice candy. Unless I get a really good roll. Alright, let's hope for a good roll and see if I can discover what is on... the yeah, let's... What that Womp is blocking. Womp-a-dump. Okay, that's not good. Okay, that kind of is. Okay, never mind. That was a good rule. This is the last turn. So we've stopped selling. So we stopped selling candy. Come back in the next game. Okay. Uh, sure. Take my money. I still have enough to get a star. So just get out of the way and let me go. Okay. Well. Oh, okay. Mmm, how did I not see that? Well, at least block the block the way for someone else. Uh happening space. So I can get the green green star if there is one. Now this chest get Okay, well that really sucked. Yeah, that happening space right there, uh, you will either... If you get it, it's randomized. Either you will get a piece of candy, uh, some coins, or you'll have some red foods take your coins, like what just happened to me, which is a very horrible thing to experience. Okay, so I just kind of screwed Waluigi over because he can't pay since he doesn't have any money. Okay, me and Boo are, are on another team again. Oh boy, can we work this? Can it be winner or dinner? Because I really like that one. That's not winner or dinner. That's the one that's before it. But whatever, I still like this one. Me seeing this one too, just grow your orb. <sighs> oh boy, I can't believe we're... I can't believe we're... Already up to a good start in 2016. And as you can see, the day before I re recorded this, I finally edited and re uploaded my first board, Mario Party 8 Shy Guys Perplex Express. The audio was still a little out of sync, but it wasn't as bad as when I first put it up. So, that's kind of just how it has to be. Now Goomba's Booty Boardwalk, I made sure everything was perfect to the T, so when I upload Goomba's Booty Boardwalk, the audio will be fairly, it will be synced very well, and there really won't be much of a problem. Oh boy, we come down to the final results, what can happen? Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I get it, you're yours, so. Okay, new splash. Mini game star is going to me. Yep. Okay, I don't know who else is getting any of those other stars. Running star goes to me. Okay, now. If you watched Goomba's Booty Boardwalk, you saw that I tied with Yoshi for two bonus stars, which was the most ridiculous thing that I, has ever happened to me, because that reason never. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. Like, I think Mario Party 8 came in, came out in 2008. So for eight 
eight years of playing this game that actually happened to me on the Goomba's Boom Boardwalk. It, yeah, so it was caught on record. So that's very strange. For eight years on Mario Party 8, which I can see how that kind of ties together. I had ties with the ocean and Goomba's Boom Boardwalk, but anyway, I'm a superstar. Yay! Five stars and 43 coins. Waluigi has one star but no coins. Boo has 26. Luigi had 12. Oh boy. So I was ahead by pretty much a lot. So I pretty much had the whole game in the bag. We saw we actually saw DK and Bowser in the same game, which never usually happened. Yep, the green spaces. Uh, three of us here would have tied for it. The red star would have gone to Boo. Uh, and everything else, I guess, would have gone to me, so that was it. And we'll take these 20 carnival cards and keep them in our little stash. Well, I guess that kind of con con this concludes the third board playthrough for Mario Party 8. This is a King. Uh, this concludes the board playthrough for Mario Party 8 King Boo's Haunted Hideaway. I cannot talk anymore. This is like Toadette or Call Me LT signing up. I will see you guys later on. Bye!